hope you guys are all having a lovely Monday night. I got a surprise from my favourite postman today, Bob. Um, I received an order that I put in on the 19th. So not that many days ago, considering we've had a weekend in there. And I'm very, very, very excited to share. I'll even show, close the box to show you. This is a big kit collection kit that I am going to unbox and share with you as well as some celebration products that I earned when I bought this. So thank you, thank you. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. So I'm about an hour north of Sydney, um, near Gosford on the sunny central coast. And today we had zero rain. I think that's a miracle over the past couple of months that I had no rain today. So that makes me very, very happy. So if you're watching live or on the replay, please make sure that you say hello um, so I know you're watching um, and that you're enjoying what I'm sharing with you. Everyone seems to really enjoy the unboxings, which is why I'm on here not at my normal time. Hello, Sharon. Thank you for joining. So I know a lot of my uh, friends who visit from other countries will be asleep but I have, we've had dinner, I've worked today, and I've done the karate run class. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's wet, Carol. We've done karate classes and driving lesson home, so I'm home now and ready to share with you. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so um, other people can find me, and I know you're liking the content that I share with you. So, let's have a little look without opening anything and see what we are playing with here. So, this is the Celebrate Today kit, which is a framed board. And there, I haven't opened anything. I managed to rip the box a little bit. And this is, there is a right way and a wrong way, and I'll show you on the back. So this is the magnetic board. Um, very light, very light. Oh, that's exciting that yours is on the way. I'm even more excited that this was released 12 days earlier than any market um, that Stampin' Up! sells to, which kind of makes up for our shipping woes that have been happening recently. But even our shipping woes are... Um, maybe a little bit behind us because we have all the products from our current mini catalog and all our celebration offering available ready to purchase and redeem and that makes me so happy because although i'm still waiting on my daffodil paper everything else that was on back order that i wanted I've been able to redeem, which is really, really fun. Yay, that's awesome. So more than happy to share with you. I've actually bought two of these. One of these I think I'm going to put on the wall over there. And then the other one I'm going to have to put my projects on for class. So that's what I think I'm doing with mine. If you've already ordered them, hello Miss Bev. If you've ordered one, I'd love to know what you want to do with yours. Because I have specific ideas. I'm, I've had things falling off the wall over here. I don't know if anyone noticed. But stuff's been falling off the wall. Blue tack stuck all over it. Besides my beautiful sign up the top, which is from my lovely friend Ruth that I got a couple of years ago for my birthday, everything else has kind of got to go. So, yes. Um, yes, so that's kind of where I'm going and what I'm thinking of doing with that. And I want to put up a pin board 
um, on that wall with all my Stampin' Up! pins because pins are a thing with Stampin' Up! We get pins at events, we get pins for achievement, um, we get pins to share at events. So that's been a thing the last couple of events, not just an event pin saying on stage whatever one it is or conventions when we used to have that. So I have ideas. They're going to take a while because I have to source a cork board and I think my mum may have really cool cork board at her place because she used to make them out of wine corks so yes but anyway I digress let's have a look at this kit I'm going to flip around I'm going to share this video out um in a few places so a few more people can find us because this is so impromptu so i do hope you're having a oh, i've got a bit of cord warfare happening here right the cords are now away so i can now move this so tell me how your monday and weekend have been i would love to hear my weekend was pretty quiet but a teensy bit of kid free time yesterday please excuse my very messy mat here i had a messy crafting session um last night and i haven't changed my mat let's see how long it is till i change it i'm going to turn off my light and might close my door because the kids are milling around and having baths and whatnot okay so the free celebration item that i redeemed is the very very happy sunshine and rainbows paper so please make sure you tell me in the comments do you want to quickly see the paper first and get it done out of the way because i may forget or do we dive straight in to the kit because i would love to know um no I'm, of course i have to go into the video which i want to anyway so copy that just be two shakes here. One place. Turn that off. So yes, as I said, one child didn't go to karate tonight because it's still on the holiday program. Um, and they just weren't feeling fantastic. But I did go, so I didn't do kickboxing. Well, not that I do it, but, you know, ferry kids to it. So no kickboxing tonight. But we did have black belt karate class. And um, that was fun. Looked like they had a really good class. And I got to... Um, I got to see some friends I haven't seen since before Christmas, which was lovely as well. Let me just pop over one more place and I think we are good. So, okay, and back to my video. Um, am I here? Yes, I am. If I skip ads, that is even better kit. You can't decide what to watch. Oh, computer is way behind and keeps pausing. That's bizarre. That is really bad. Kit, please. Okay. I might save the paper for later in the week when a few more items, because I'm expecting a couple of um, a couple of orders this week. So you get this really huge 12 by 12 box. So this will be a very useful storage box. And you can see I ripped it. I ripped it. I was distracted by some friends while I was opening it. So you get these two packages. One is the board, which I think I will just open. And it does have a hanger on the back. So you can just pop in a picture hook and hang it from the hanger. 
handy dandy scissors. It's amazing the things that you pick up and that are still in your vocabulary all the way from when your children were watching kids TV shows because that handy dandy is actually from Blue's Clues. If anyone has watched Blue's Clues in their life, that is where that is from. <laughs> uh, well, Bev, you'll have to tell me what you decided on. Okay. Thank you for the lights up, guys. I do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to literally dump everything out and we'll work it all out from there. How about that? Pop that away. So we get two background papers here. Are they double-sided? Mm -hmm. They are double-sided. So we have black and white polka dot, a nice diagonal stripe. We get beautiful pink ombre. Ooh. I'm thinking mint macaron and just jade, but we'll find out with our destructions because they're built to be not obeyed. So the B on the back it will tell us the information. Basic black blushing bride, flirty flamingo, melon mambo, mint macaron. I was right, and smoky slate. So this is the contents of the kit. And we get two pre-folded pockets. Ooh, they're double-sided as well. Ooh, so you get colourful or neutral. Okay. Then in, oh, we get some um, Terran tape, which is awesome. Then we get another pack. Ugh. So this is meant to be a bit of a planner. You can use it for anything, but it does have some planning, getting things done kind of um, situation in there. We'll have a look at all of these cards and stickers and all of that. Now, we do have this kit is for everyone across the world. So we are going to have some languages that aren't our language so we do have i'm assuming this is german or dutch who knows doesn't even say what but we do get some other languages see this one's for me i speak english i understand that so we've got french as well or oh, maybe that one's more German, I'm not sure. And we get the French version. So these will be delivered to my friend tomorrow. Um, she may even make a bit of a cameo in my normal video tomorrow. So we get all these pretty stickers with flowers, we get borders, butterflies, a label, some hearts love that and we get more labels and shapes on this one and these are cardstock stickers these just aren't thin paper stickers these are cardstock so they are sturdy so we've got create this this week make time for yeah a bit of a planning working out what you're doing with your life now all these cards <coughs> Hello, Miss Heidi. Oh, you're watching on your phone. Good morning, Miss K. German before and French, right? So we have two each of these cards. Uh -huh. So we do have little calendars on a couple of the cards. Have note paper, a bit of a to do list ticker box. Oh, that's a bit like a recipe card. It reminds me of a recipe card. These would also be great to use in our um, Memories of More packs. Um, you could do a bit of a planner in one of the binders and extend it from this kind of project. 
these are great oh so we just have some pattern and a bit more so they're all very similar with the planning and customizing and you can use the stickers for the tops and you can pop them in the pouches i think oh one two three four five love that <clears throat> so sorry i do have frog in my throat at the moment oh i like that faux washi tape on that one more of the triangles oh we have a bigger to-do list all the way to 10 could also do your 10 favorite things love that in the blushing bride and more of that faux tape and cross hatch or crosses and more of the note papers so that is that now <laughs> let's see if we can get them back in a neat pile says ellen very slowly so anyone watching this outside of the australian market i've been reliably told in an update to demonstrators that you guys will be getting this in a week or so so never fear you will get it just we got it earlier which i'm really happy about the um, shipping global shipping delays have kind of hit us hard so these are the magnetic clips now this is the test for my hands <gasps> yay i can open them enough and hold them open yay okay that makes me really happy i was hoping these clips will be a decent size because the one I plan to use for class, I want to display my cards on that we're going, or my projects that we're going to make during that class. So, yay. Oh, they're, and they're gold and they're gorgeous. And they're the magnets on the back. So they nestle in there nicely. Going to pop those to the side. Now, just let me, sorry, I took my laptop to Karate tonight to write up a blog post because we have our Christmas Stampathon challenge going live at 9am tomorrow. So those of you that regularly in past years have played along, we start making Christmas cards as of tomorrow. So, this is how we can decorate these. And I do plan on decorating these. So, that shows you the pockets and the different ways we can do them using the stickers, the borders, decorating some of the cards. Now, this is the interesting bit. It says... You slide this in. This is the bit I want to work out step four first. Because I'm a bit like that. And I need to work that out first. So this is just our big thick backing sheet that my friend Jamie that will go in her pile. She loves making books. And that is what she will be doing now. I cannot see a slot in here. What I'm thinking is, I actually, ow. Okay, use a pair of scissors so we don't kill our hands. I'm thinking it's just like a normal picture frame that you have to pull these back. Yay, I'm so glad, Bev. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. No problems. Yes, everything. So the Christmas stamp thumb video is scheduled. Well, it's not quite scheduled yet, but it's sitting on you here on YouTube, ready for me to finish up. And it will go live at 9 a.m. And or the video will go live, but it's a pre-recording. I do hope you enjoy it feel quite rusty or oh, I felt quite rusty doing the pre-recording right now that came out awesome 
I really can't see a slit where we slide in the paper, but that's okay. I think I want to use this. Okay, mint macaron or blushing bride. So, blushing mint. I need to know. And while we wait, I am going to fold this little pocket together. So I'm assuming we go in, then out. What? In, then out, then, then in again. I'm assuming that's what we're doing and that's a gusset for all of our little cards. Blushing Bride, gorgeous Blushing Bride. Three blush Blushing Brides, okay. Well, I may have to change my mind to the Mint Macaron for that, okay. Although I love this. You could use any paper your little heart desires because these are 12 by 12 papers. Actually, should we test that fact? I'm saying they're 12 by 12 papers, but I would really like to test that fact. And considering I don't actually have it on a straight surface, that is 12 by 12. So yay, that will all fit. So what I want to do, I want it, oh, I want a shading, I want it to be uh, dark to light bottom to top. So you just want to gently just get it over our little metal clips without uh, ripping the paper. Then pop our magnetic board on the top. This is very sturdy magnetic board especially considering um i said the frame is so light this is very very sturdy piece of board now i don't want to force this in at all oops yeah how did that fall out ever so easily that's what i want to know how, how, how did it fall out so easily and now it doesn't want to go in. Just have to be patient. Give it a bit of a shimmy. Because we don't want to break any of these clips. So what I think I'll do is go in there. And then all I've got to worry about is these sides. I'm sure someone is just going to get this so much quicker than me. Oh, use my bone folder. Well, yeah, now that'd be an idea too. But I don't want to bend these back too much. I just want to. I will. I think I'll only use one to start with um because i don't want to make everything but that well i've actually got two kits heidi and one i'm not going to make it up so we've got three sides in got three sides in well, ah four sides in woohoo now i'm going to use this is my bone folder that I use for inking. Oh, Heidi, look at you up there for thinking. Could have used my scissors, but this actually, to me, feels so much easier and sturdier. A nice, strong extension of my hand. Okay, right. Hooray! All in there, all beautiful. Right, that looks gorgeous. Wonderful choice, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful choice. Now, 
am I totally crooked or what? I think I've knocked that. I'm going to put that board to the side. Well, yes, of course I have. Of course, Miss Heidi always knows right. She's full of very good ideas, that one. Or photocopy it. That is a good one. Yes, I could change my mind at any, any time. Now, I said I was going to use this one, but because we went with the background we did, I'm actually going to use the mint macaron. And I'm going to, I'm going to learn my lesson from the first one. Now, this just has dried in comments, so I can use this one very, very easily. I'm going to reinforce these edges before I play with the gusset. Because the gusset, I don't know if you can see, they're not scored all the way to the bottom. So I do kind of need to just be a little imaginative in working out these okay so i've got that i've got this now this bit's self-explanatory so far i say so far now what do the instructions say about this so i only need glue in two places which are on these two tabs that's it so now where do you where do i put it now this is not a full roll of terran tape it is a partial roll but i'm assuming is still oh my god look at that i actually opened a ziploc bag that is very rare you have been here to witness it now my terran tape i don't tear because i don't tear things so well so we'll just be cutting it just because that's how things roll and if ellen was smart and things weren't piled on top of it i'd also get my silicon mat but alas, that is not happening. Now, when I adhere my glue, I do want to make sure it is a lot closer to that score line than it is to the edge. Because it's the score line that you want to give support to so it doesn't pull apart. Okay? Where on the edge you're still going to have the gap where that um, score line is as such. Hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense when I pop it all together. I have gone a little bit over there, but we'll make it work. <laughs> but maybe, really. Yes, well... It's not that I like things neat, it's just I don't have the finger strength to tear. That's really and truly what it comes down to. Now, let's look at them again and we just close it up. It's not too fancy smancy, it's literally... It's literally that and we close it up. So as I said, this is where we pop in our, we just do a hand fold. Oh, that bit, that bit wants to pop out. So I'm just going to just pop that score line in with the scissors. Ah, there we go. So I've got them in nicely. I'm going to release the backing tape. I'm so sorry if you can hear the bass guitar. That will be lavender. We're definitely using the bass guitar for our HSC music. Not the trombone that they've been playing since they were... Um, 
what was Lavender when they started the trombone? Hmm, maybe 10? So, you know, we'll throw that away and we'll do the bass guitar. But that's okay. They're actually very good. There has been some wonderful 90s music coming out of that room, which Mum has quite enjoyed. Okay. Now. There's one. That is two. Not perfect, but done. And then to reinforce that edge, I'm going to... Yeah, just going to run my bone folder down that edge. And then we have our nice gusseted pocket. Okay, now we can do lots of things on the front of this. So let's have a look and see what I might like to do. Happiness is the journey. Grateful. Love this life. Today is a new day. Remember this. Today I'm creating. Okay. So I kind of don't want to make it a board about planning. I do kind of. Now, I just want to have a look at the suggestions here. I did kind of like the You've Got This. And I did really, really like this. Now, what colour did we say this was? I do forget I forget so easily. It's a lot darker. Let's see if I can read up. Ah, it's Mellon Mambo. That's why I like it. Okay, so this is kind of what I am doing and thinking. Popping this one here. Popping this one here so you still get that beautiful ombre effect but I'm not totally totally covering it up now so just building a bit of a scene uh, want to do is to see because these cardstock stickers are a little bit forgiving just want to pop that butterfly on top of that um, I kind of like this grey heart just to balance out and add in a bit of this smoky slate a bit close to the writing okay just pop that up a little bit and it does smooth out that awkward edge there so I've used three things um, does this need anything else I don't think so truly don't think so what do you think of my little pocket <gasps> hello miss ruth how are you lovely to see you too it is a cute a cute kit hello Dion. how are you oh my god 5 a.m committed to stamping up and joining me so i've just created that collage stamp it up gives you lots of different ideas to use but i'm just going rogue okay now because we're going with the so I've gone with the blushing bride background. 
Okay, so I'm now going to pop this to the side. So we've got this here. I just want to collect some things. Now, I want these away from each other and not together. But I just want to have a look at some things that may work. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just going to slide this in. Pop my stickers to the side. I do like the happiness is a journey one. Um, just looking at the back. So I more do want to have a look at these more picture-based ones. But I wouldn't mind, like... Using that as a backdrop, and as I said, I don't actually plan on um, using this to plan or anything like that, but just laying it out. Tell me what you think. I'm liking the four things, and that gives plenty of space in between for breathing space, but we've still got space to pop our cards in or we can just pop our cards in like that so they hang out we know where they live and i can pop one out write a note send it in the mail and that will go perfectly with anything i send rogue works for you shaz i love that how are you shaz so lovely lovely to see you I missed you pop in earlier. I'm sorry about that. I think I'm liking this. So we've got our two landscape, two portrait, using the smoky slate. Although, do I want floral or do I want the crosses? I think the floral's a little bit more lighter because these are quite solid. Or, okay, so, oh, there was another one of these as well. Let me find it, because there was one, I think, that had more of the mint macaron in it. Da -da, da -da. Not that side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, see that one with the cute... Heart is cute. I know there was more of these. There was more than just one. Oh, see, that one's cute with the little hearts. I do love all of these. And look, you've got a matching one of this. So you've got it in both colours. Hmm. Maybe I was imagining it. Maybe. I swore we did. But, so tell me which one you prefer. Yep, I was imagining it. Unless, no, it's not on the back of that one either. Okay. Imagining, imagining, that's okay. Yes, very good. This is very impromptu. So, flowers or crosses while I think about what I'm doing with this one. So in our little instructions that we can use, it does give us some suggestions for um, this one. And I did kind of like it just on that. Happiness is a journey and then using some hearts i could also use some flowers but i do really like that because happiness is a journey um it certainly isn't something that just comes you've got to work for it um got to make a lot of hard decisions to get to happiness So, uh, flower crosses, so two crosses and two flowers. Oh, sorry, one flower and two crosses. I think I like the lightness 
of the crosses. Now, let's see if I can get this down straight and even. So I think, do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I am a little bit off. That's okay. Because we have lots of these things that we can add. So we've got the, the awesome um, borders. But I did like the idea of the hearts and maybe... Hmm, I'm thinking, let's see if I, I can't pick this up kind of liking this little bunch of flowers here so this is totally a non-stamping kind of project which i'm loving oh i like how those match up beautifully um, just having a look here so you can do anything you would like. But I'm just trying to find logical places like finding an edge where these would come off. So we've definitely chosen a flower theme and I now kind of need to stick to that, I feel. Um, but I do do want a little bit more colour. Where are my scissors? I think I'm going to overrule you, Sharon and Bev. And I think I really, really want to go with the flowers and add a saying and some flowers to it. I think. I think I think. Oh, drop that on the table. So I'm going to go here. And oh, we've even got a teeny one. I like it when we have these kinds of things in different sizes. Um, okay, so we've got two and two, but that isn't symmetrical so I definitely want to go with our three and I kind of want to shake the um kind of want to shake the colors up a little bit okay and I think I want a darker one which would be this one here something a little bit different what do we think so this one I am going to use like this and I can get some inspiration off this if I so wished And I could do this kind of thing where they've made it with the word in the middle. But instead of doing it on the pocket, I'm doing it on a card. So, going to have a big leaf sprig coming out the top. And then, I think I'm just going to have two leaves coming out of the bottom okay oh I like that I grabbed two leaves of different colors that's awesome um, let me have a look here for colors Okay, I kind of want to go this way, mm, although that, that flower is definitely more directional. I 
I don't need, don't really feel I need anything else. I'm just going to make this straight. Just put Love This Life. I like that. So we've got this and this. We've got this. Now I want to play. Oh, I thought I dropped everything. No, I'm sorry, Bev. You prefer the flowers as well, Heidi. It's a draw. What about the checks? Oh, no problems, but you hooked here. Well, your sheep are a little bit important. So, and we're going to go this one. Where are we going to go with this one? I do like the remember this in here. Or do I just want the this? Flip it around. Not sure I'm loving this. I feel like I need something else there. But I'm going to have a play. So this. Ah, I've got a little remember here. one of these but I kind of don't just creating a bit of a cluster here I'm loving this so far I'm very tempted to this here so these will be great for filling cards or filler cards in a um, memories and more album mm -hmm. it's not down down or oh, I hope it's not down down Do we have another butterfly? Just a titch smaller. No. Because I love butterflies. That's a bit better. Just moving it down a little bit. I love that. I don't know if you do, but I do. So let me just and see... Do like the dream as well. The dream is a good one. I could keep creating all these cards and interchange them. So that's where I've gone. I have so much left over. Like so much. I did want, because I kind of want to fill in this little space here. It's actually really glaringly annoying me. Um, I think I'm going to use this grey heart. Even though I know it's floral, I think the grey heart will work really, really nicely. Just in there. It's just going to stay there. I think I like that a lot better. Okay, so this is kind of what we've got and how it's going to, no, this way, and how it's going to lay out. So 
Although I could fit more because I have six of these. Let's have a play and see how it sits. Oh, night, sweetheart. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Sorry for popping in live. I do appreciate it. Love it when I can see some of you in a different time zone. get some of these clips oh now I'm going to prove myself wrong <laughs> famous last words Ellen can do this that was before crafting wasn't it that works that works so that is one this one kind of doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, did you hear that? That's good. That works well. Next. So you can do whatever you want. Your. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at... No, I think if I had... A pink. Mm. If I had a pink border, that may just work. to trial it in my head and I'm saying no 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 that's okay oh we have to be okay with using some white space and that is just balanced off to one side and that is fine okay my tongue was in the right place there also pop that down nice wide opening and I'm going to pop all my spare cards do you know what card I would love at the front I would love this little love heart just with the love heart in the corner I think that will look like super sweet now I know you can't see the clip on this okay totally totally fine so is this something you could use in your space would you use it as a decoration or would you use it whoops I've lost one under here would you use it as a decoration like I have or would you use it as like a planner type using all these cards as little memento little mementos and planning i'd love to know how your brain is working i know the butterflies are so beautiful i do love them now try again nope that's okay this is my difficulty this is not actually difficult it is difficult because i have a disability that affects my hands so that is the only reason that part is difficult trust me this if these were really difficult i wouldn't be able to use them at all at all so yeah i am really really happy that i can use this yeah the butterflies in this are gorgeous and just remember you can use whatever designer series paper you would like in this background. It just opens like a normal uh, frame where you pop out. Oh, hold on. Concentrate on what you're doing first. 
then no oh, have I lost all my finger strength have I have I I do have a solution and it is called the table there we go if there's a will there's a way so you could do a stamped background one of your, I know many of my beautiful people make beautiful one sheet wonders. One sheet wonder would look beautiful in this. You could showcase a scrapbook page. You could do lots and lots of things with this. So this is just what I've done very, very simply tonight. How long have we been on? Just under an hour. I've done the unboxing and we've had a play. So we've got like heaps and heaps of cards here that we can use. And if I stand it up, those, those cards aren't going anywhere. It does move down a bit when I tap it, but on the wall, that really isn't going anywhere. So you've still got all your planner type things. Today I'm creating... You've got all of these on the menu. You can create menus or even little recipe cards because I did, some of them did remind me of recipe cards. Could have used a border on this. I just decided to keep it a little simpler. And then we've got plenty of flowers and banners. Hearts, so much left over that I could make so many more different cards to embellish this. Like I only usually have two to four cards at a time. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Although the measurements of this Heidi for you are... Or you could make your own. It's 11 centimetres or 4, oh, that's a really weird one. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. Yes, 5 eighths. I think so. By tall inches, 3 inches or... In centimetres, we have uh, 7.5. So it wouldn't fit an envelope in it, but you could use uh, something bigger and use two of these, Heidi, to have your envelopes ready for your David um, to take out. Absolutely. Yes, that's why I bought my other one, Bev. So I've bought this one for the wall behind me um, when I do my face-to-face -face at the start of my videos. And then um, the other one I will use for class. Now, on the back, we do have a hook. Oh, let's see if I can do this without the cards falling out. Um, we do have a hook on the back. So it can easily be hung on a wall. And yeah, I've kept it simple, but I can't wait to see what other people do with this. I'm so sorry for my croaky throat. It is the end of the day. I think I just need to drink more water. Yes, yes. Now having seen the size, you've got some context. Yes absolutely bev absolutely so i will because i've got my other kit that i don't plan on embellishing it out i can do lots of things with this and change this display out as i wish i can change it out with new papers so 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 many things i can do i think my one for class has to have a wood grain in the background because that's kind of my surname and the theme that I go for. But yeah, so if you want this kit, I'm just going to confirm the price. I do want to say it's $44. And that gets you the frame, all the cards, the clips, the kit, the stickers, 
um, you've also got your roll of tearing tape. Uh, da -da -da -da. Of course, why did I not put the price? I did not put the price on my blog. I'm going to have to go and change that. But what I will do, I will click this link and I, mm, of course not. Okay, there we go. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Internet and my browser. Yes, it's only $44. So I think that is really reasonable for you getting the kit. You get a great box you can reuse or store it in. Give it as a gift if you want to make a nice memorabilia. Um piece for a special birthday it's something beautiful you can make and then pop in the box tie it up with some ribbon decorate the box it will make a great gift um yeah it's gorgeous i am very happy with it in some of the sample fo photos they have used five so they've used another one and just popped them made them a bit more eclectic in the way they've popped them out i've just kept it simple today as i say very customizable to what you would like to do and what would work for you within the kit and you can make your own make it your own you can um do something to the edge you could oh the possibilities with this kit are endless. I have a link to my shop below. Um, I will put also a link directly uh, to this kit so you can find it. Ah, thank you, Bev. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Yes, the frame does come with the kit roof. Um, and behind this piece of paper is a white magnetic board and this piece at the back it's like a masonite kind of it's very very sturdy um, that is the magnetic board and you just pop the paper in front of that piece and these magnets which have all moved but only the one with weight in it fell off um yes so it all comes as part of the kit so you get a package with all your clips and embellishments and so there are two packages one with the papers and all of your stickers and the other package comes with the frame so yes so reasonable so reasonable other markets in the world will have it very very soon just not yet Australia, we we're very lucky to get it first, um, which we're very thankful for. It was kind of a thank you for all our recent woes that we have had for the past uh, three months, really, um, starting with one of our events. And yeah, we've just, things have been a little limited, but that's all good. So, any questions about it please ask i've got it here i can have a look and find the answer can't wait to see what you will do with them tomorrow i will be live at 12 noon my time um and that will be so tomorrow's tuesday that will be over on facebook <laughs> and i think i'm going to pull out some celebration products i'm thinking of playing with friendly hello I've had a play uh, with it already, but I can't show you that project yet because it's my team swap. So I'll show that to you um, early next month and you'll still be able to get the products. But I just thought I want to have a play with the paper and the stamp set. So I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, 12 noon over on Facebook. So you don't, if you don't already um like and follow me over on facebook to get notifications please make sure you do i really would appreciate a thumbs up on your way out so i know that you've liked what you've seen you want to see more of these types of videos because i will be back with another unboxing a bit later in the week with some uh papers that uh, we've just have released in Australia two celebration papers 
and the Horizons uh, paper. So that will be, oh, what type of box does it come in? I will show you that, Kay. It's actually a very, very sturdy box. So it's almost a pizza box, but not quite as wide. And it's got all the same... Um, printing as our kit collection because this is kit collection it's just not uh, a card kit it is a different kit it's a magnetic board kit so very sturdy box this would uh, store 12 by 12 paper in it perfectly perfectly uh, thank you for thumbs upping on your way in. Oh, you just blogged your late. Yes, and I haven't showed you guys flowering tulips. That's what I mean. Our papers have been a little slow coming out, but I just can't wait to share them with you. I just want to get them all in, show them all at once rather than lots of little videos. This kit did deserve a little bit more which is why I'm not sharing um, the Sunshine and Rainbows paper with you. I will um, save that. Oh, thank you for sharing it to Pinterest, Heidi. I really appreciate that. So I will see you either tomorrow live or I will see you on the replay. And just make sure, leave a comment so I know you've seen it. I love knowing who watches my videos. I see that lots of people watch them. But not everyone comments. So I do appreciate a comment. And um, I just love that interaction with all the people that watch my videos. Have a lovely evening. And I will see you very soon. Bye.